Hello students, this presentation is it's very brief. It's on how to locate the schedule booklet. And there are actually two, you know, as I was thinking about this presentation, I want to make sure we don't confuse you. We actually put the schedule booklet on the website in two different locations. This location is sort of just the hard copy of the schedule booklet. And you'll see it. It's always posted on our website. It's right here, and it's always bookmarked. This is the same thing that we mail out um, typically. Lawson, though, is moving away from mailing out the, the schedule booklets uh, because we do everything online. So we also have it, and you know there's another um, presentation on integrity that shows you right under it how to search for the electronic search for classes. And again, that's another integrity session, and that'll show you the actual schedule online. And what I like about that version better a more rather is that it allows you to see if classes are canceled, closed, or what have you. But it's also important for you to know if you just want the hard copy where to find it. So that's what this presentation is about. So what I want you to do first to take a look at the schedule is to double click it. No matter you know what semester it is, you'll always find it. And the other thing that I want you to be aware of, of course, you can shrink this by going up and changing the percent the percent view. I want to make it to 75 get a better chance to look at. And again, it changes, the cover changes each semester, so don't let that throw you. You'll notice in the left-hand corner down below that this is still loading. So a lot of times students think that, oh, it's, you know, it's not working on my system. It's a PDF document, which takes a few minutes to load, so just be patient. And always look at the directions for viewing. And um, you've heard me read these before. so. Uh, in other sessions, but for fast viewing, simply click on the bookmarks tab in the far left hand corner. Look for the small word document icon with the blue ribbon. Once you click on the out icon, a table of contents listing will pop up. To view any section of this schedule booklet, simply click on that, the heading and the information will display automatically. It is important to wait for the full document to load, even though it takes us about a minute to do it, because what you don't want to do, you don't want to use this book by scrolling through it. That will take you forever, and that is not the point of viewing something online. Right now I'm hitting my page down key. You know, Some people like to search it that way. But again, that's not the best way, as you can see, it jumps to view this document. So it's better just, I'm going to go back to the top. It's better just to be patient. And again, we're close to it being fully loaded. We're right here, almost there. Once it fully loads, you'll see that the bookmarks will pop up. And again, the bookmarks is simply just a table of contents which which is you know what's displayed on the page and there it is we want to look for we want to look for the blue ribbon so we're going to click it and you'll see that the table of contents outlining everything that's included within the schedule booklet is here for those of you who like the hard copy and one of the things as you know one of the integrity sessions deals with the first half of the schedule booklet which deals with the um, online guides. So for those of you who may have a presentation on the schedule booklet, you may have to go back and look at that one too because the schedule booklet is, you kind of look at it in, 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 two, in three parts. The first part are the online guides and some useful information such as your exam schedules as well as your tuition and fee payment schedule. And as you scroll down, I'm going to scroll down, when you get past those guides, you have ADA information, um, Americans with Disabilities information. Here's the tuition and fee schedule. As I said, our refund policies are in here. But notice also things like the trial schedule for registration. I'm going I'm to shrink this so you can get a better look at it. The trial schedule form is in here. The drop and add form is also located in this document. Then you hit the most important thing, which students are looking for, are the Birmingham and Bessemer course listings. Notice that to um, to view the course listings in the hard copy of the schedule, all you have to do is click on you know, the range or the alphabetical range of things that you're looking for. For instance, if you're looking for an English classes on the Birmingham campus, you would select E and L. And that's going to pop up all of the E's, things that begin with E. And you can see that scroll down by hitting the little black arrow here, and you'll begin to see and maneuver through the schedule booklet. Okay? If you're looking for, let's say, it's office administration. You can see OAD courses that are right here. 
or if you're looking for RTV or radio and television or reading courses, you'll go here. So you can click any of these and it helps you to really maneuver through the schedule rather quickly. Same thing for the Bessemer course campus listings. If you are looking for classes on the Bessemer campus and you want to look at the hard copy, you can. And that's how you maneuver through the document. Again, you can always shrink it and you won't be able to see it there, so let me bring it up to about at least 75 percent. And you can see the different classes. This is major appliance repair and basic math. Again, in alphabetical order or maybe you're a commercial arts student or a, a computer information system student, CIS student. So you can see these were all the courses for that campus. Also, at the very back of the schedule booklet, you'll find the final exam schedule. We always post the final exam schedule within all of our schedule booklets. And you'll see that. You'll also find maps and directions. You can find maps and directions um, on both campuses. And if you scroll down, you'll see directions, which is very important. The directions between campuses are right here, which many of you travel between campuses. Here are the directions. And of course, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the campus map. That's the, Be the Birmingham campus. And if you keep on scrolling, you'll see the Bessemer campus. Now, the other thing I want to show you is that let's say that you really need to get those directions. And you don't want to print this document. It's 72 pages. If you look over here, it's 72 pages long. You don't need to print the entire document. But let's say that you're at home and, and you need the directions and you don't have your schedule booklet in hand. So what you, you just want to print this page. What you don't want to do, you don't want to, um, this one doesn't have a page number. Most of these, like see how that has 64? Don't look at that page number. Look at the page number of the PDF document over here. This is page 66 of 72. So to print these directions, you would go to the print icon located right here, hit print, then select the button that says pages, and all you would have to do is type in page 66. And see how 66 pops up in the window? And then hit OK. If you wanted to do 66 and get the maps as well through 68, that will get the maps as well, just type in 66-68 and hit OK and that will print those documents for you. Okay? So I told you it's very simple. Now remember there is a, an even a more efficient way of checking the schedule and I'm just going to briefly take you to that for just a minute because there's a whole integrity session on it. So I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to get back to our website and just a reminder, there is a whole new integrity session on how to view the electronic online search for classes, but it is right here. I'm just going to click it for you so you can see it. And encourage you to watch the, the integrity session on how to view the online version of the schedule. This is really a better way to view it because you will be able to see cancel, close, campuses, and you can narrow your search even more down to the actual course. Instead of looking at all the classes, you can narrow it down to just Math 098 or Math 090. So I hope that um, this session has been useful for you as you continue to empower and equip yourself with information to make you the ideal freshman student.